Hey guys, Jeff here. Just got a quick tutorial for you guys today. For those of you guys interested in making some chip music, um, this is a tutorial that applies pretty much regardless of what software you're using, as long as you have some sort of sample-based software. Even if you're using the old school trackers, if you've got an Amiga and you're using ProTracker, if you've got a you know, DOS computer running Fast Tracker or Scream Tracker, um, or if you're using Renoise on a modern computer, whatever you've got, uh, this will work for you. So the tutorial is on how to do hand-drawn single-cycle old-school chiptune waveform samples, which sound more complicated than they are. So what we're going to be making are hand-drawn waveforms. Um, these are going to be samples that we draw by hand, but we'll do only a single cycle of it, which gives you a very small um, sample size and also allows you to have a very strong control over the timbre of the sound. So on screen, you can see um, a very simple sine wave. Um, and I'm going to show you how to both generate this sine wave, this one cycle of the sine wave, also how to edit it yourself. So if I go up to generate along the top and tone, you'll see a dialog pop up. It gives you a bunch of options like the waveform and the frequency. So you can select a waveform that will work as your base that you can then draw over and edit. Um, so I'm going to select, um, I'm going to select a square. And uh, in the frequency here, you can see that it says 261.626. That's actually a middle C. Um, so for ease of use, just as a reference point, I'm going to make uh, the sample at middle C, um, just so that when I import it, I know exactly what uh, what frequency it is. Um, and the amplitude below that, um, anything above 1 obviously will be clipping, um, and anything that is very, very low will be very quiet. But I'm going to use 0.8 uh, because that's a, a good loud value that won't be clipping. And if you select OK, you'll see a giant blue bar up here. Um, if you press play right now, there will be a very loud, very annoying noise. But if you zoom in, you'll see the waveform that you selected um, repeating in cycles. So we're only going to need a single cycle of this. So if you switch to the selector tool and select, uh, just select a little bit more there, yeah. Select an entire cycle and then go up to edit, remove audio, trim. Shortcut for that is Control T, and you'll see we now have uh, just a single cycle of that wave, which we can now edit. So if you go up to the top again and select that pencil tool, the draw tool, so you'll see a bunch of points appear. If you zoom out too far, you'll notice those points disappear, and if you try to draw in the waveform, you'll get an error message like this. So make sure that you've zoomed in until they appear, and it's literally just drawing. So you just move your mouse, hold down the mouse cursor, I don't think I really need to explain drawing to you folks. If you'd like to play this note back, all you have to do is hold shift and press space. So not that I think anyone really needs it a second time, but uh, just to walk you through it again, um, for those of you that might maybe be confused or something. So all you have to do is go up to generate tone, then select the waveform you'd like. Uh, this time I will select a sawtooth, because it's different. And you'll see that is generated. You zoom in, you use the select tool, the selection tool, select a single cycle of this wave, control T. Now you can use the draw tool to edit the wave however you'd like to edit it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you somehow have some questions, feel free to ask. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. If you want to share it, feel free. Um, hope you guys are able to use this for something. Cheers.